Hello everybody and thanks for joining me today. So today uh, I'm going to introduce you to the newest software from Corral. It's called Corral Motion Studio 3D and the uh, kind people of Corral had sent me a copy and I've just installed it so uh, I had to play with it for about 10 minutes and I found it uh, really uh, easy to use and this works really uh, well with your Corral Video Studio. So, um, like I said, I'm not doing a tutorial. I'll, I'll explain to you what all this does in my first tutorial. This is just an introduction to Corral Motion Studio. So let's uh, let's do something simple just to show you what it is capable of. So I've just typed in the word test, and I'm going to apply an effect on it. And I I like this effect. This is kind of nice. It's a shattering effect, and uh, you have full control on the shattering effect. You have a lot of different effects. If, uh, if you have a look over the, to the easy palette window, if I expand the word text effects, uh, all these type of effects come up. Now, that is like the one here, the explosion, and then there's like a subcategory. And then you've got all different types of explosions and how you want the effect. Now, even then, you can go into your attribute panel and change that effect again so right now when I hit uh, my play button the uh, the shadow pieces uh, fall down but maybe I want it to blow to the left and uh, so the gravity would change so I go to the left and if I hit left if I hit play sorry it's, uh, it will now then blow or shatter to the left so that's just some of the uh, things it can do and as you can see it's I did that relatively quickly and you can do the same so let's uh, let's have another look at something different. Uh, let's grab a 3D object, and uh, here and it's 3D models, and you've got a, a range of different uh, objects you can work with. And uh, if you if you're familiar with 3D objects, you know that there, there's tons and tons of this stuff on the internet that you can export or import and use it as well. Uh, so here's something else. <coughs> So it's Motion Studio 3D. And just to go to show you how easy it is to use, let's say for instance I want to change the word motion, or I just want to pull this apart and just do with it whatever I want to do with it. But let's, for the sake of this uh, introduction, I'm just going to change the word motion. So I can go either here, it's a, it's a group drop down menu, and every piece that you see here is then listed in here. And that's really good. And uh, you can also have it on the top. It's all here. So uh, I just want to change the word motion. So here's the word motion. And then I'm just going to edit that object out. And uh, I'm going to change it to Crips. It's, uh, it's now Crips Studio 3D. And look at that. Instantly it changed. And I can press play and then do with it whatever I want. And that's just uh, how easy it is. Now I can also um, add uh, a particle illusion if you... Uh, you may have seen that I sometimes use another software called Particle Illusion. Well, now the, the Corral people have actually incorporate that into this software. It's called Particle Effect, and it's, it's identical. It's the same thing. Let's say, um, I don't know, I want to add fire, I guess, just to make it really corny. <laughs> there you go. Look at that, I'm on fire. A rock. <laughs> so... So there you go. It's uh, it's really really simple to use, and just to show you how easy it is to use with your Corral Video Studio. Let's say I'm finished with this uh, effect for <laughs> whatever reason I like it, and then I want to uh, export it into Corral Video. So how do I do that? You know what? It is so simple. File, and it's right here. Export to Video Studio. Now watch how quickly this is going to happen. I'll just save it, obviously, because I'm exporting a, a different file. Now watch this. Save. Bam, it's here. That's how that's how quickly it works together. And then uh, you press play and then have it in here. So there you go, my friends. As you can see, 3D motion is uh, it's really, really cool. And I'm, I'm sure you're going to have a ton of fun with this. So my first tutorial that I make on... Uh, 3D motion will be the uh, introducing you the interface on what each panel does and 
and uh, how to use the timeline and keyframes. But uh, other than that, I hope you uh, enjoyed this uh, little intro. And as always, thanks for watching.